This is Jefferson Close-Up. I'm Carol Celine. My guest today is Dr. Danielle Duffy. Let's start with you telling us something about you that most people don't know. I think when most people see me as a physician, they see me as that and may not know that um, I've had a very active um, career in field hockey. <laughs> um, I started playing when I was in middle school and played throughout high school as well as college and I actually continue to play. How do you like to spend whatever little bit of free time you have? Um, I spend a lot of my time <laughs> with my family, with my husband and my two-year-old daughter, um, just playing and hanging out and having family time. Um, I still try to stay active and keeping in shape so that I can play <laughs> field hockey uh, on the weekends. Um, and that pretty much takes up all of my time. Uh, what pulled you toward a career in medicine? Um, I had spent some summers in college working in a basic science lab in a pharmaceutical company um, and really enjoyed the science behind the work but felt that I wanted more of a patient connection and the ability to take what I was doing in the lab and translate it into actual therapies that I could give to patients to help um, you know, improve their health status. Tell us what are some of your best traits? Uh, I think people would describe me as um, kind, caring. Um, I feel that I'm a very good listener and I think that trait really helps me um, to hear what my patients have to say um, and, and to really get to the bottom of what their issues are. You do preventive cardiology. Yes. And you also specialize in women's health. And you had mentioned to me that while men get more heart attacks than women, more women die from heart attacks. In fact, it's the number one killer of women. I would have thought the number one killer of women was breast cancer. You're absolutely right in, in all of the statements. Uh, heart disease is more common in men, but when women get heart disease, they're more likely than men to die of heart disease. And actually one in three women will develop heart disease in their lifetime as opposed to one in eight or one in nine women who will develop breast cancer. Now, why would it be important for a woman to see a someone who specializes in women's health in terms of cardiology? I think, one, because women can present differently than men and have different symptoms. The other thing is that a lot of providers don't even know of these differences. Mm. And when you look at the literature, a lot of women who have heart disease are not treated as aggressively as men who have the same disease. And that may be why we're seeing some of the discrepancies where men, women are more likely to die from their heart disease than men. What advice do you give to people to prevent heart disease? I think the, the most important advice is really to try to lead a healthy lifestyle. If you're a smoker, try to quit. Um, <laughs> if you're inactive, try to increase physical activity. And we generally would love for all of our patients to get some kind of aerobic exercise, such as walking or running 30 minutes, five days a week to really help the cardiovascular system. And then just being aware of what the risk factors are, what your personal numbers are, and what your personal treatment goals are. Oh, you sound like someone a woman would be very comfortable with. I hope so. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Thanks so much.